Okay, Sunday, 21st of January, 2024. Just finished running. So, Devil's Advocate, hmm. So, the value of, being, of playing Devil's Advocate in life is to, not to second guess and to doubt yourself, but always to find the opposite angle of what you believe, to find loopholes or find flaws or find biases or cognitive biases or logical fallacies in what you believe in. It's very important because you see, we, won't, we always want to be plain devil's advocate to criticize ourselves in order to find our flaws and our weaknesses because we want to know what we are doing wrong. We want to know our mistakes. What am I, overlook what am I overlooking? What am I missing? What am I doing wrong? Because the more errors I can find in my own judgment and planning and logic and ideas and everything else, the more errors I can find, the more errors I can correct, therefore the more successful I'll be. Now, that doesn't mean to say to doubt yourself and to be double guessing, oh, no, no, I don't know, but to be more about, about what am I missing? What am I overlooking? How can I improve? That's the other key thing. So there was this really good logical way of approaching, um, taking a point of view would be to look at your competition or the opposition to your point of view and figure out how to, no, no, yeah, I'll figure out the best way to argue against yourself. Because when you can argue against yourself as though you were the opposing side, then you, you have a much stronger what's called Iron Man, Iron Man argument, a much stronger foundation and understanding of what you believe in, which is important. You find, say, kinks in the armor, you find flaws, you find mistakes, you find ways that people could beat you in an argument, so to speak, and you can plan ahead. Yeah, you're just planning ahead and you, you know how to uh, counter certain arguments. Mm -hmm. So that's an important tool in life. Because you see, there was, let me think for a split second, there was, there was, there's, there's always been conversations every now and then where I'm looking at this, or here's my goals here, or I want to do this, and I'm thinking, what am I overlooking? What can I improve upon? And I don't know if that's upbringing or genetics or whatever, but I always like to take something and always find ways to improve it in general. You know, that each iteration is better than the previous one. Fair enough, very natural. So that's how I see it. And I look at my plans and objectives, and I, I even do this for ChatGPT. I would discuss my plans. I want this, I want to go here, go there, do this, go there. What black swans, what in economics it's called a black swan event, what things could happen that I have not prepared for, that I need to prepare for, because it could be a disaster. What's called like black swan events, things that are unlikely to happen, very unlikely to happen, but would have a big, big impact on day-to-day -day business. Mm -hmm. Okay, very important. And then you can say, right, well, if X happens, what plans, what contingencies do I have in place now to, to alleviate that problem or to avoid it entirely, things like that. And then we need to, we, need, we do that by strategizing, thinking and planning. ChatGPT in this sense is an amazing, amazing tool. Just as using it to discuss and plan and strategize. Powerful, powerful stuff. I highly recommend it. But we want to play devil's advocate in life to figure out what are we overlooking? What mistakes are we making? Mm -hmm. The fewer blunders and mistakes we make, the better our lives. The better our lives are, the more successful things are, the just better. We don't want to be fumbling around in the dark. Fumbling around in the dark, no, we want to have clear route and a clear path, a clear plan of action. And the more clarity you have, the better. So devil's advocate, don't be like double guessing yourself and doubting because that creates insecurity because we want to be secure about what we're doing. We want to be doing things with full confidence, okay? And the way to increase that confidence is more clarity, more ideas, more plans, more confidence in yourself. If X happens, you know how to do Y. If Z happens, you can do other things. You can do A, whatever else. Well, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what happens. That creates confidence. And then you could say that would increase chances of your success. Now, isn't that what everyone wants? That's what I want. Like for example, right now I'm just outside 
training, just do, doing a bit of cardio and finish the cardio. And I'm slowly heading back and uh, uh, preparing for mountains by being outside, being in the physical world, training, preparing. How cool is that? So devil's advocate, because see, if you take it too extreme, you, you end up questioning everything. And if you follow that, that kind of line of thinking, it takes you, takes you close, some would say dangerously close, to nihilism. When you think everything is pointless, there's no point to anything, it's all redundant, it's all hopeless. When you're, when you're so reductionist, and you think, well, what's the point in all this? What's the point in any of this? You know, life is gonna to come to an end anyway, what's the point? You have to guard against that, because if you go too far down this path, <laughs> the opposite happens. You, you don't bother. You don't bother at all. You, maybe, maybe your human spirit or your spark of humanity or your desires or, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's the fear of death. It's like just this, your hope gets extinguished because there's, 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 too, many, there's too many reasons not to do something as opposed to, as opposed to, to actually do something. Hmm, interesting line of thought. But we need to guard against that, and uh, I guess that comes from clarity again and self-confidence. Because the more you do things in life, and the more things you do and create and, and have done, the more competent you become. And then, and then, interestingly, when you come across these scenarios that you're planning ahead for and thinking of, you know how to handle them better. Especially when you have when you think about them in advance, you know, if, if this happens, what can I do? Well, okay, planning ahead, thinking ahead. If this happens, okay. But then you talk to the chat GPT and it gives you more ideas for, um, you know, black swan events. If I do this or go there or go on said road trip, what black swan events could I encounter? Things that are unlikely to happen, but could really impact me. And then you can say, what the common sense things could happen? What things are likely to happen? What contingencies should I consider? Hmm. And we do this, we plan ahead by double guessing ourselves. Not necessarily doubting, but what am I overlooking? What am I missing? Hmm. So I'm, I'm going to go to Ireland in April and I'm planning a road trip. And uh, I'm thinking like, well, what, what, what can I do? Because if let's say there's traffic, for example, if there's a flooding in this area, what can I do? Well, good example, good idea is go on Google Maps, you can download offline maps, and then you've still got reception just in case. And then if you change the path slightly, change the path, change the route, no problems. It adjusts for you, and because it's offline, you don't, you're not dependent on reception, which, which that was very useful in Scotland. Between the mountains, no reception, but the map still works, priceless. So, I want to be double guessing and thinking what I'm overlooking in terms of business, in terms of life, in terms of priorities and values. And then at the same time, how can I improve it? What can I do better? Well, maybe, maybe put this in Spanish, put that in English, change here, change that, go here, go there, things like that. Because uh, we always want to be improving and we can't be improving if we're not critically analyzing ourselves, what we are doing right and what we're doing wrong. Yeah, because you see, I've come to also not realize, but start to see that people tend to win, not, not always necessarily because they're good, but because the competition is somewhat incompetent. Hmm. And I can give an example of that, but that's another video completely. But that's, that's, just, uh, that's just something I've been thinking about the past few months and years, where double guessing and thinking and strategizing, and what am I overlooking? What am I missing? What can I do better? Very important. How can I improve? Yeah. So otherwise then, you will see me tomorrow.